Okay. Thank you for watching this video and taking a look at this. And this probably means that you have in front of you from some way the Illuminatrix Coin Cage Pendant Keychain Kit. What a better way to show off your beautiful coins than to put them in a coin cage and then you can wear them or put them as a keychain or do whatever you want with them to show them off and have a good time with it, whatever you want to do. So, what you're going to have here, this is the coin cage itself. Now, this is the silver, and this one is set for a half dollar. Keep in mind, you could have gotten other ones like the quarter, a dollar. You could get on the copper. Make sure you have the right one. Make sure you have the right size, too. It's kind of important. We'll make whatever size you need. So, there's some jump rings here, the keychain. And the pendant part. That's what comes in the kit, and that's most of what you need. Now, what you're also going to need is a pair of pliers. Now, if you have a nice pair of pliers like this, that's great because this is um, they're nice, small, easy to use. Most likely, you have this that you found buried in the yard after you moved in, and you're not really sure where they came from or how long they've been there, but they kind of work, sort of. So, what we're going to do there to fix this up, first of all, we're going to just slide this out of the way for just a second, put this in the corner. What we're going to do with this thing is take some tape, electrical tape, and we're just going to make sure that we tape up these rusty old nasty things. Dirty old rusty old pliers. Anybody know who Roger Ritiker is? <laughs> Alright, so now that's all you really need for that. The only other thing you might want to have is to put on, um, depending on what kind of coin you're using to put in here, is a pair of gloves. You can use it, um, either like a latex glove like this, um, or you can use the white cotton gloves. I'll try one of each. Um, your mileage may vary, and if you're, you know, putting a beat-up old coin in there, that doesn't really matter. But if you got something nice shiny, eh, be nice, okay? If you're cracking open a proof set to put in a quarter, um, you know, keep your fingerprints off it. So, here we are, and here's the coin. And there's the coin in question that we're going to put in here, this beautiful Franklin half dollar. Isn't that a nice coin? That's a nice coin, isn't it? All right. Anyway, what we're going to do... If you notice, there's like a flat side and a raised side. And these are set, so these should be almost able to get this coin in there. Take the coin, you line it up any way you want to do it. If you want to do it this way, that's fine. We'll put the bell out front, that's fine. There is no front or back, obviously, but you can get it in there and you make sure you get it in between the two curve of the cues. And you seat it down in there. And with your fingers, you just want to just kind of make sure that you pop that over and pop it in. Now it's popped in. Now, what you want to do is lay it on a flat surface like this. First thing you do, on a flat surface, you want to push these prongs down. Now, if you hold the flat surface and you push the prongs down there, that's 90% of what you have to do to hold that in there. And in fact, you can get away with that if you don't have any pliers, but everybody's got some pliers. So what we're going to do is just take these pliers very gently, very gently find that squeeze just a little bit just a little bit just a little bit on each one of these be very gentle make sure that you're only touching the metal and not the coin and then now you have a perfect specimen now what are you going to do with this well, this particular one is going to go to someone who's going to use this as a keychain. So we are going to use the keychain accessory and take one of these jump rings. And try not to fumble this, but we stick this one in here. You go through here. Now, this is double. This is two wires, actually. So get through both of them. 
And then this is your last thing to use your pliers. You gotta squeeze these together. Maybe and sometimes you have to squeeze them. Sometimes you have to squeeze the jumpies in a little bit. But there you go. Oops. There you go. Beautiful, right? Okay. So, and obviously if you wanted to use the pendant, you could do the same thing. And if you change your mind, you just peel that jump ring off. You got a couple other ones or whatever. And there you go. Now remember, these also come in copper and they come in different sizes. And if you don't have the right size, let me know. I'll custom make one for you. And that is that. Thank you very much and enjoy. There you go.